no film this? Oh, you better stop it. This is mad cute. What I love about that. Stop it. And then you feel. Oh. There's 50 things. You smile and. Oh my god, stop filming before I die. You always have the best sound. Oh, come here. Just give me, I don't even need to read everything else. This is awesome. And then they say the little things, right? Yeah. This is so That's funny because I wrote that in one of the pages. I don't remember which one. Yeah. And it goes all the way to 50? Yeah. When I was little, I love to watch funny movies with you. Oh, we need to watch a funny movie. <laughs> I'm impressed by your intelligence. Oh. Wait, I gotta sit down for Hi. Been a little minute since I like. Um, why am I so close? Am I like zoomed in? <laughs> I feel I was zoomed in, yeah. But, like, hi. I haven't like vlogged in a, like a little while. Um, been crazy, been like all over the place mentally and everything, but I'm okay. How are you guys doing? I bought so much stuff lately. You know, a lot of retail therapy, but you know, some of these things I've been contemplating for a long time. A lot to update you guys on because I didn't just get all of these things now. Some of these I did, some of these like I've been had. So yeah, um, so for starters, if you notice, I got new glasses on. I got these from iBuyDirect. I also bought a pair of prescription sunglasses from also from iBuyDirect, which, these are them right here they are beautiful and they're my first pair and i'm so happy i bought them because every time it would be sunny or something i wouldn't be able to wear sunglasses because i wouldn't be able to see in them so i'm just really happy that i got them and i'm going to be showing you guys bits and pieces of stuff that i bought but hmm, i'm trying to think if i should show you by the way it's friday <laughs> i'm like all over the place it's friday night me and babe just got back from my dad's house so we chilled with my dad and my cousin and my dad's girlfriend for a little while and but today was kind of like a busy like run around day so me and babe went to barnes and noble which is what i'll show you now which is not everything but for one this is the tote bag that i got i'm obsessed with bags like you're gonna know that about me i freaking love them so much I have a problem, but we're not going to talk about that right now. So this is the bag that I bought. A uh, book bag. You get it? You get it? Okay. Anyway, go ahead. This tote bag is mad cute. And I'm a sucker for bags that have pockets inside because I like organization within the bag. So this one doesn't have much, but it does have one deep pocket like on the back of it. And I really like it. So I was like, I have to get it. And I love how simple it is. I love how long it is. So it'll hold a good amount of stuff. And I think it's just really cute. So I got that. I bought a book. Um, since I've been dealing with my mental health lately because of like still missing my stuff feeling out my place in the world ever since she passed away this book really spoke to me especially today because um initially i wasn't feeling mentally okay i felt really lonely and um emotional this was the first thing one of the first books that i picked up in barnes and noble that just stuck out to me and i got it and it's um it's called hello i want to die please fix me depression in the first person and it's really intriguing it's basically um about a girl who she has a major suicide attempt in her early 20s and she deals with um she suffers from depression but instead of allowing that disease or diagnosis to take over her she tries to get herself better by um going interviewing psychiatrists and neurologists and stuff like that just to see you know if there's any other alternatives if there's any insight into like this disease it sounded really interesting to me so I'm definitely excited about this. I bought this from my grandma because Mother's Day is next week. So I bought it for Ma. I mean, well, I bought it for Grandma Gypsy. So this card from Barnes & Noble says best grandma ever. And it's basically just a plain card that I'm just going to like fill out. Um, so I got that for her. I also got this really, really cool book. It's called Grandmother's Memories, a keepsake journal. 
and it's basically a gift that of course i'm going to be giving to her that um has different prompts in here that she can fill out herself and then she'll give it back to me that i can have as a keepsake of her life and it starts out with like our family story so our family tree and she'll talk about her grandparents and our family and um her parents herself and then it it keeps it keeps on going everything that i basically would have wanted to ever ask my grandma um god forbid if she's not here anymore then she would be able to write in here and i treasure that so much and i'm not gonna lie earlier today me being emotional missing ma and everything like that i felt a little bit better going into barnes and noble but then when i saw this it was not a trigger but it was like damn i wish i would have bought this for ma because when someone you love and you're really close with passes away it's almost as if you think of all the things you wish you would have asked them all the things you would have wanted to know about them all the things that you wish you would have talked to them about and of course like you probably still have that even if you have quote unquote all the answers i don't know i feel like this is a start so this will give me more insight into grandma gypsy and stuff like that because i don't want to make the same mistake with her may god rest her god um bless her so i'm really excited and i know that grandma will really love this so i bought that for her and i bought this beautiful journal now before i show y'all I don't know if y'all ready. I love journals, but my problem is, and I'm aware of this, but whatever. I'll buy a journal and I'll tell myself, okay, I'm gonna commit to writing in this journal every single day, this and the third, whatever. But then I won't, I'll fall short. I won't do that. I won't finish the journal, but then when I'm feeling sad or whatever, I'll go to freaking Barnes and Noble and be like, yeah, I should buy another journal. It'll make me feel better. It's like a fresh start, whatever. And then I won't finish it either. And then I'll, the cycle continues. But either way, you're gonna love this journal if you love journals. So. I'm preparing you. Okay, you ready? Are you kidding me? Do you see? Do you see this? This is absolutely stunning. So it's. I'm gonna read the little. It came with a little card on the back, but just at first glance, and it's also like I don't know if you can tell, but that's all like it's like gold. It's beautiful. I've never ever owned a journal this intricate before. This expensive before. Let's be real. It was thirty dollars, but that's expensive. It just drew the tree just really i was drawn to it like i love the earth i love nature and the symbolism that just comes with like anything that grows out of the earth is just really 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 cool and beautiful so i love that they cap and i love what they wrote on the back so it basically says the tree of life is a metaphor illustrating the mystical concept of the interconnectedness of all life on our planet it has been used in science religion philosophy and mythology to some it is a portrayal of the connection of all forms of creation both good and evil this journal is made using brown recycled leather and paper the whip stitching is characteristic of medieval italian books and manuscript covers the pages are ivory colored handcrafted in florence italy it's beautiful and i had to have it so here we are so hopefully i do stay by my word and actually really you know use it because it would be a shame to go to waste so yeah those are all the things that i got today in barnes and noble I have some more stuff that I bought off of like Amazon and stuff that came today even though I ordered it yesterday that I will show y'all tomorrow because everyone else, well babe is still up, he's in the bathroom but everyone else is sleeping so I don't want to make too much noise on my desk and the sala in the living room but the big reveal and one of the reasons I wanted to pull out my camera because I'm gonna unbox my big purchase today and I wanted to like take y'all along for that so yeah, ready y'all probably already saw it because it was like i think in the frame while i was like showing y'all other stuff but we got a new laptop we got a new laptop i'm so excited my other one was really old so not that old it was like 2017 model so i traded it in for this one i got like credit from the trade-in and now i'm financing this one so i'm really really excited and i got it earlier like much earlier but when we came back from barnes and noble we kind of almost not immediately but kind of went straight to my dad's house so that's why it hasn't been opened yet we're gonna be doing that trying to get my life together here also random but like i feel like i just have to tell you this drink right here is san pellegrino and it's the orange orange pomegranate flavor it's juice like sparkling juice it's amazing and if you've never had it before you need to i'm obsessed with them it almost has like a carbonated but it's not soda is this okay sorry the bed's like not even like right but that's beside the point right now we're gonna like open this bad boy i hope you're excited because i am so i got the 13 inch space gray macbook pro i got the 256 gigabyte one 
did not get Apple Care. Because to be honest with you, I just feel like that's a Apple's other way of like a money grab. You want me to be 100% real? That's what we do on this platform. Hello. Let me stop talking. Open the box. Yay. Oh my God, it smells new. Oh my God, it feels so much different. Look at this. <laughs> it's like, it feels thicker compared to like what you can tell. Because my, the laptop that I had before was the 2017 MacBook Air. So it was really thin on the sides and everything like that. So this, because it's the Pro and because like the sides are thicker, it feels like a difference. Comment down below if y'all keep, if you get like a new iPhone or a new phone, if you keep the box that it comes in. Because like, <laughs> I'm curious. Sometimes I usually keep my the my phone box, but I won't keep the laptop box. I feel like that's too much. Even though it is smart, but like, if I'm gonna have this for like four or five years, I'm not keeping this fucking box. <laughs> Let's be real. All right, so I'm not even showing y'all. Hello. I'm unboxing, but I'm not even showing y'all what I'm doing. So let me put this back. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I'm just too excited. Okay. I just took the laptop out. It was obviously like right here, like the the covering off of it. So no scratches. It's very nice and sleek. It's beautiful. Open the box. You got the charging cable right here. And then this thingy that I never even looked into, but you know, I'm sorry about the lighting. So yeah, this little thingy and then the cube for the thing, which is huge compared to the my other one that I was used to also. And was weird too that, not weird, when I had my MacBook Air, I I think that was the last generation where the charging cable was magnetic so now it's not anymore so that's a little weird but but yeah man this is what it like now this is usually helpful they always give you like these stickers and stuff but i usually don't use them like i just throw them away i used to love it but like now i'll say yeah. the touch bar and the touch id which is one of the reasons why i really wanted this so let me put the bar the top back on here just so that we're clean as possible. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh my god, it is beautiful. Do y'all see this? Look at that. That's beautiful. Use English as the main language. Press the return key. What? What the hell? Ooh, do y'all see the touch thing? That's fire. Okay, so we got United Aid. Accessibility. Um, no, oh, no. Oh, got put my Wi-Fi in. Hold on, y'all. Alright, y'all, yeah, I'm gonna, like, if y'all are used to Apple products, this is, like, self-explanatory. You just follow, like, the steps. It's, like, they make it very easy. Put in your Wi-Fi, put in your language, put in all that good stuff. And then it's telling me to connect it so that I can restore everything from, like, the cloud. Um, so I'll check back in, y'all. I'll check back in with y'all in a minute. today a little chill saturday got my nails done and now i want to show you guys what i was gonna show y'all yesterday that i did not get to that i bought on amazon and i'm so excited about it so it's just adding more stuff to my desk and i am very happy about it so i want to show you okay so first things first we got this beautiful pinky board with the matching mouse um it's a wireless or bluetooth keyboard and it came with this this wire to charge it and everything and this um mouse is again it's, it's by jellycomb as well you can see it's also by jellycomb and it's also bluetooth but you do need a battery that it doesn't include and you only need one but, but yeah so got that and I'm, I'm really happy with this so far i just synced it to my work laptop and then my macbook pro is right here for when i like edit vlogs and everything like that and it's just really really cool even though you still need the battery 
and everything it comes with a usb if you can see that right there i already connected it to my work laptop but since i got my macbook pro it doesn't have a usb port it only has a usb c so buy an adapter in order to be able to connect the mouse so this is not synced to this yet but once i plug it into my laptop it'll be like quick and easy so we got that next i got this power strip that has just a whole bunch more like outlets and stuff just to make everything a lot more smooth it has like all the usb USB ports here. This is my charger from my laptop, my work laptop already. So like, I just think it's really cool to have like one big power strip right here, as opposed to always having to go down there to plug or get something out of there. So we got that. Now this thing, I'm like out of breath. Tell me this is not the coolest thing you've ever seen in your life. It's a freaking mug warmer. So once you set, once I set it up and plug it in and everything like that, it's gonna keep my freaking coffee warm when I sit here in the morning for work. And it's also a candle warmer. I think that's dope. I'll also leave this linked below everything that i'm mentioning i'll leave it linked but you will be able to find it on amazon now i'm so out of breath what else did i get i think that was it i feel like that was it but this is just like a continuous like upgrade of technology and equipment and stuff that'll help me to do my job more efficiently and effectively while working from home and also doing the side hustle of doing youtube just having like having my acrylic power like is aesthetically pleasing and everything like that but like in order for me to like type and everything it's not convenient because too high so now that i have the bluetooth keyboard and the mouse i'm i'm like in awe right now and oh this is what i also bought it's not much but you know just to add to the organization aspect of things i also bought these cable organizers that basically comes with a, it's a pack of three that has like a sticky adhesive and you just put it like on the edge of your desk wherever you want to put it and it'll organize your wires so that you won't have something like that <laughs> i had to like stick it to or hook it to like my little thingy just so that i can easily access it when i need to for my work laptop but now that i have this it once i put it on the desk it'll just be like quick and easy and more efficient so yeah this vlog is like kind of all over the place sorry about that but i hope that you're enjoying it so far <laughs> to think what else i can do or vlog or show you guys i don't know for sure you guys need to like comment down below what you would like prefer to see from me that would be very helpful and like you can actually like get like use out of like my content if you don't already i hope you do but if you don't okay son i'll like talk to y'all like in a little bit all right i'll be back because you thought I was gonna leave you hanging like that? No. I'm also bored. I have nothing to do and like nowhere to go. And it's Saturday and it's beautiful out. You know, story of my life. But why not spend it with you guys? Because I love y'all that much. Also, still drinking this because I have a whole like six pack in the um in the fridge. You need to try it. Also need to try if you haven't already. Is the Cheetos pop. I'm literally obsessed. Turn around time. So this is not why I pulled y'all out. Random though. Did I show y'all this? I don't think I did. So not too long ago, I wanted to start trying the Sugar Bear um, vitamin. So I got the, the trio pack. So it came with, the, of course, the hair vitamins that has biotin, folic acid, and um, vitamin C. The women's multivitamins that has omega-3, vitamin C, and vitamin B12. And the sleep vitamins that I have over there on my like nightstand slash like windowsill, which has like the melatonin and stuff like that. They all taste amazing. I can't take pills, I can't swallow them. Um, so and by the way, this is not sponsored. I wanted to I bought this with my money. This is the first time I'm actually like really trying them like consistently. I just want to see if it makes a difference. And so far I really like them because again, they're gummies, they're little bears, they're so freaking cute. And it tastes really good, they taste like candy so let's see what happens with that but besides the point um i went to the beauty supply store after the nail salon because i wanted to get some more deodorant i really love the i love dove i'm like a strong advocate for dove i've been using it since i was little also not sponsored but i just really love this scent it's the pear scent or pear and aloe vera scent oh my god it smells so good it smells so fresh and i just really like this one i've been using the native um deodorant 
and the one that i have i think is grapefruit and something else it's in the bathroom um and it smells really good and i like native but like i don't know i don't think it vibes too well with my skin like i noticed that i sweat a lot more in it or like it doesn't stay like it's supposed to if that makes any sense um and i'm not one to sweat like that but when i do you know like if i have like this deodorant on or something like that it's not going to like dissipate or anything like that i'm not gonna stink if like the deodorant kind of dissolves if that makes any sense so i'm gonna start using this again because it's my tried and true and it hasn't failed me aside from that i also picked up some some goodies from nyx and i've been wanting to get this combination for a long time now but as you can see if you've been following me for a little while either on youtube or on instagram i don't wear makeup i don't know how to do makeup i'm too cheap and the most that i do is i'm too cheap i'm i'm it's not that i'm cheap it's that i don't really have the patience and again sometimes like i'm finally like learning how to take care of my skin properly but i still have active acne majority of the time and i'm just so terrified of anything clogging my pores or anything like that there's certain things that i'm willing to try like i really want to buy the what is it called the the new thing that um rihanna came out with for fenty the easy blurring tinted thing i want to get that um but i want to go in person so that they can give me my right shade because that's another reason i don't wear makeup is because i'm terrified of like not getting something that's my right shade and i look too white or too dark or anything and i just look a mess so i just try to stay away from it but the reason that i'm ranting right now about all of this is because you would already know that i don't wear makeup or lipstick or anything like that i used to weird lipstick but i've wanted to try this combination for a long time because i've heard it's really really cool and really good so i got the nick um fuck this is an eye pencil i could still use this for my lip fuck damn it i mean thankfully this was cheap i was gonna say i thought i got a lip liner um in the shade medium brown but it is an eye pencil it should still be okay but that's annoying but i did get the nyx butter gloss in ginger snap and praline because all over pinterest i've seen that these are really good on our like skin tone and when i did used to wear lipstick i was a type where i didn't wear any makeup like no foundation or anything on my face but i had lipstick on <laughs> and without a liner a lip liner or anything like that or like a tinted gloss that's like more my aesthetic my more my vibe so when i did wear it it was like a darker color like i really like darker colors on me as opposed to lighter so when i've heard that these combinations like a dark lip liner with like praline or ginger snaps on top that it would look really nice together i'm like i believe that that could be true because i already know dark is will look nice on me so i've been talking a lot we're basically gonna try that out and see what it looks like so i'm gonna try the i'm gonna try both let's try oh asmr over here i'll probably like yo what <laughs> like sorry y'all y'all my only friends so you like gotta deal with it i want to actually talk about that since i'm i just made that comment it's like i'm like kidding but i'm also not like if you've noticed i have friends but like our schedules never mesh up like our, my work schedules my friends work schedules and even the friends that i do have it's like two or three not including my boyfriend you know so um i got really i i mentioned it slightly yesterday when i vlogged but i didn't go into detail i was basically like really sad like i just felt lonely i felt like it made me more sad because i was like i wanted to hang out with like my cousin not one of my older cousins on my mom's side and like my dad or my grandma and stuff and like everyone was kind of like throwing me a bomb like oh you know i don't feel good or like i don't have money or i'm doing something else or whatever it is or oh i'll let you know and then they never let you know so that was like two days in a row of them doing that to me and i was kind of over it and it made me sad because i was thinking like if ma was here she wouldn't have, she wouldn't have treated me like that she would have hung out with me and i told giovanni that yesterday and i just started crying because i didn't think i would like i didn't think i would cry but just thinking like you know ma was really truly and still is my best friend and it i know i shouldn't feel this way i know i did everything i could for her to be with her to take care of her and i would do it all over again in a heartbeat if i had the chance but i can't help but feel sometimes guilty that i didn't spend more time or i didn't take more videos or have more memories or stuff like that and i just want you guys to know how i'm truly feeling because i know that that this platform you can easily just record all the good things and me feeling good looking good whatever not showing you the times where mentally i'm just distraught i don't want to get out of bed i'm crying myself to sleep or i'm mentally just completely out of it i just want you guys to know that i'm human i feel those emotions and feelings just as much as 
just like you probably do if not more and i want to shed light on that because it is important and because i want you to see every aspect of my life not just the good thing or the things that i'm choosing to show you because they look nice or whatever it is so i just wanted to tell y'all that no enough of that so we got them out the this one so the darker one is the ginger snap this is the praline now i don't i don't know because now that i know that this is an eye pencil and not a lip liner I don't really want to open it, so we're just going to try the thing on its own. Let's see what happens. Oh. So this is ginger snap. It smells so good. It smells like chocolate. Oh, something. This is like, for me, the perfect medium of like... I just love the subtlety of it. You know what I mean? Like, I love lip gloss. And this is just like a nice little tint. It's not too much, not too little. And it's really... Do you guys see that? Yeah. That's good, right? Yeah. So... So this is the darker one. And do I wanna try the other one? Yeah, fuck it. Okay, now we're gonna try a praline. I imagine they look exactly the same. <laughs> okay, this one is like, since it's lighter brown, it's like a more... <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Which one is, uh, which one is that? This one. The praline. Uh, this one. You're not explaining a lot, but it's the butter, butter gloss. Butter gloss. Yeah. Looks very buttery. It's like the. It's a lip gloss with a little like tint of color. So it's like a. It's this color. Me gusta. Is it noticeable? Not so much, but you could tell. You're very glossy. How much is looking? Uh, you want to see that one? Uh, yeah. Put it on. Not come. Put ginger snap back on so babe can. I don't know y'all. Like it's cute, but like I like prefer my clear. This is ginger snap again. I feel like it would look nicer with a lip liner though. So yeah, that was me just like wanting to like talk to you guys and like try this on. I don't think we're doing anything else. So you already know the drill. If something else happens, then like I'll pull the camera back out. But if not, I'll come back on here to close out the vlog. I'll see y'all. back home been for a little while and say hi babe i just got a package so like i wanted to like show y'all what i got dun, dun, dun. finally ordered something uh, <laughs> thank you finally ordered something from the m jewelers i'm super excited i got some like everyday earrings Oop, okay so i got an anklet and some earrings Hold on. How am I gonna... Can I do this with one hand? Let's see. If you couldn't tell by this vlog, if it didn't... Sh like, I can't do it with one hand. Hold on, y'all. Not that talented. If you couldn't tell by this vlog, I've been buying a lot of stuff, so I need to chill. <laughs> I was trying to, like... I was trying to, like, go like this, and it opens frontward, stupid. But look at these beautiful little earrings. Y'all know I love my yellow gold. That's all I really wear. So, I really wanted to just get a pair of, like, earrings that I can wear all the time. Because if you can tell... And I've said this in a previous like video. I don't change out my jewelry. Like the most I change out is my earrings in my first hole. And I wore these today, but these are not real. So I prefer to just have something real on so that I don't have to take them out unless I really want to. Cause like if I want to wear like these lately have been my favorite but these are also not real you know these i you guys see me wear often they're like little hearts these are real these were my my grandma's but you know sometimes i just want like something like basic and simple so we gonna put these on right now they weren't badly priced to be honest they were having a sale oh they're so cute it's so small and minimal i love that i just hope they don't turn i don't think they will though <laughs> Yay. So cute. You know, like when they're like new and then like it kind of hurts to like lock them. My like hair be getting caught on my industrial piercing. I also have to go 
I'm all over the place today. This whole vlog has been like completely like all over the place. I'm sorry about that. But like, hello, can we like get our life together? Oh no, y'all. So they're so cute. I'm so happy. I'm gonna show y'all the next thing. Um, I was just gonna say that I do also have to go and get my undercut like it's itchy shaped up i want to get like a fade um she grew out a little bit so probably gonna do that today too i don't think i'm gonna film it though to be honest this is also what i got it's an anklet i've always wanted a gold anklet just never got got it so i'm really happy all right so this is each piece is this is a little card that came in the thing for jewelry care it says each piece is carefully crafted by hand in nyc preserve silver product plating properties by avoiding contact with cleaning agents beauty products water and chemicals damn so i can't 14 carats solid gold product can be worn in water obviously damn all right yeah so then that answers my question i can't keep it on all the time that kind of sucks but it is cute though and i'm finally gonna replace i don't know if i ever showed y'all this but like i've always had this on it's just like a little thing that i wear as an anklet it says puerto rico on it because if you didn't know i am puerto rican i think i'm gonna just keep it on because since i can't keep this on all the time i'll just have that also i like having a little something a little flare <sighs> stop it tell me not oh what is that what the heck is that oh <laughs> tell me that's not cute don't mind my toes but that's my cute. It's kind of big, no? Y'all don't think it's big? All right, y'all. So, got that. I'm also, I should be getting an Amazon package today. All I ordered was a case for my, my laptop, my MacBook Pro, which I love so far. I didn't get to update y'all. Y'all saw me using it in some clips, but she's beautiful. I love her. And um, what I went to Apple today for was I forgot when I bought the camera to buy a USB-C thing because it doesn't have any usb ports on the thing so just in case if you're purchasing a macbook pro you're gonna have to get this this was 19 dollars in the apple store you could definitely find one cheaper on amazon but i wanted to get one from the apple store because i'm bougie <laughs> i only got one because like i don't really be plugging in a lot of stuff like on my laptop at once so i was like one is all i really need like when i say one they have one that has like multiple ports and stuff like that but i only bought one that has one usb port which it should be fine but yeah you do have to get this if you want to you know edit your videos or content or just plug anything else into your laptop and i also bought this because i didn't have one when i bought my i um when i bought my iphone 12 pro um i didn't buy a charging block because apple they're just great and they don't like provide you with the necessary equipment that you need when you purchase things now like remember like when like they had the old iphones and stuff like that they would you would get like what came in the box was like the little charging cube um the adapter the the wire to charge your phone of course like the cord and then it would come with like headphones and stuff they don't do that anymore so you have to buy it separately and i hadn't bought one yet so i was like let me just get it and it's also the USB C. um so you can't use the other let me show you because i can't explain things i've been using my old charger for my old phone oops so you can't use this one anymore with the new wire if that makes sense because this is a usb charging um adapter but the other one is USB C. I hope that i explained that well most of y'all are probably like duh heaven you didn't know that already and like yeah i did but like i didn't feel like purchasing it if i felt like i didn't really need it but like i was like fuck it let me just buy it so yeah i'm gonna waiting for my amazon package i need to stop buying things off amazon <laughs> i just need to stop buying stuff period for right now because i literally just got paid on thursday and i've been wilding so i gotta chill waiting for that gonna get my undercut shaved again and also gonna be rearranging the room because i'm the type of person i like a little flare a little change here and there like in the room i don't like to have the furniture always exactly exactly the same because like it just feels different and new and vibrant when like you move your bed like just a different corner of the room or something like that it's like oh you know this is cool give me something to do and today is sunday so prepare for the week all those other things but yeah guys i'm gonna end it here thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed it i'm so sorry that it was so random but this is reality this is my life and i'm glad that you're here to stick around and support and watch and all that stuff <laughs> um so i'll see y'all in my next one make sure you um, smash that like button make sure that you comment make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already leave your post notifications on so that you're notified every single time i post a new video on this channel because i know lately it's been something from some of my post on
on Sunday, sometimes I post on Tuesday, but never know. So make sure that you're notified every time. And let me know in the comments below what you guys would like to see from me. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.